वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ 8051 वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फीचर्स ऑफ 8051 माइक्रो कंट्रोलर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड नो 8051 माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज वाइडली यूज्ड इन मेनी एम्बेडेड सिस्टम्स एंड दैट यूसेज दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओनली इफ यू नो द फीचर्स ऑफ एट you should know my dear students we can use this 8051 in many embedded systems like you can use that in remote control you can use that in washing machine timers washing machine counters you can use that in temperature control of refrigeration so already it is installed in many applications why the reason is it is having many interesting features in this video i'll explain you each and every features in great detail so that you can understand how we can utilize 8051 in many practical applications let us see all those features step by step so here my dear students when we talk about 8051 then you can say it is complete computer system built in on a single chip why i am saying complete computer on a single chip the reason is in computer you will be observing you have cpu ram rom serial ports parallel ports interrupt timer so all those things that is there on a single chip that's why we can say 8051 is a complete computer built on a single chip but this single chip is not as powerful as your computer remember this but for low scale applications you can say it is a complete computer so by a single chip we can perform many applications here you will be observing 8051 is operating at a speed of 12 megahertz and for that we connect crystal oscillator and that gives crystal clock to be operated with 8051 and that frequency is of 12 megahertz here 8051 that is having 8 bits of alu so in a single machine cycle 8051 can perform 8 bits of arithmetic and logical task using 8 bits of alu which is on chip with 8051 here 8051 is having 8 bits of data lines here my dear students you should know 8051 is having on chip memory but as if programmer is having bit complex applications in that case we can interface external ram and external rom as well so for that you need to have address lines and data lines here data lines is having size of 8 bits so in a single machine cycle we can exchange 8 bits of data with memory in 8051 here 8051 is following howard architecture you should know my dear students what is howard architecture with howard architecture when microcontroller or microprocessor is accessing memory at that time there will be separate memory for program and data with howard architecture here program that will be stored with rom and data that will be stored with ram why the reason is we are dealt with to execute program and that program will be fixed so program memory that should be fixed it should be non volatile that's why we store inside rom and data can be different with respect to execution of program so that we store inside ram let me give you example for example you have one program in which you want to control temperature so program will be there in rom and temperature data that will change so that will be there with ram so here in short my dear students with 8051 we have many embedded system in which you will be storing program with non volatile memory rom and you can work on the data which is stored inside ram right so that follows howard architecture here you will be observing on chip we have 4 kb of internal rom so here we have internal rom with single chip and that is having size of 4 kb here as if you have bit complex application in that case you can interface 64 kb of external rom as well but here as if you have small scale applications in that case this much size of rom is sufficient here 8051 that is also having on chip ram with the size of 128 bytes 
and again my dear students as i have told you as if you have bit complex application external ram even can be interfaced here externally we can interface 64 kb of ram but as i have told you if your application is not that big in that case you can have this much amount of ram and rom available with a single chip by which we can perform application in that you don't need to interface external ram and rom right here 8051 that is having four io ports and each port is having size of 8 bits this io ports that can be used for many peripheral interfacing like you can interface keyboard display stepper motor led switches all these applications of interfacing that I'll explain you along with experiments so that will give you more clarity so you just go through my playlist in which I'm going to explain all this interfacing as well so this peripherals that we can interface with this IO ports right and all IO ports are bi-directional so it is not like you have input IO port and output IO port all the IO ports can be input as well as output port so based on the need you can interface all these devices here 8051 that is also supporting serial communication and that could be synchronous as well as asynchronous so for that with 8051 we have two pins tdx and rdx by which we can have serial communication here 8051 that is having two timers and that is having size of 16 bits so we have on chip timers 16 bits of on chip timers that we use it for many applications like you can use it for delay generation this timers can be used as a counter so in industries you might have seen for example here we are having conveyor belt on which products are going in sequence like this for example here you want to count how many products are going right so in that case you can use this timers as a counter so by giving clock you can count how many products are going through this conveyor belt so likewise there are many applications in which we can use this timers as a counters and here you have two timers of 16 bits of size 8051 that is having five different interrupts out of this five interrupts two interrupts are hardware interrupts and three interrupts are internal software interrupts all the interrupts are vector interrupts and that is having well-defined priorities as well as by programming we can change the priorities as well right so that feature is available with 8051 here 8051 is also having two power saving modes one power saving mode is idle mode and second is power down mode here my dear students you should know 8051 that we use it with embedded system so obviously with embedded system you will be having applications based on battery operation like for example when i talk about remote control that is operating with respect to battery right so obviously we need to have power saving modes so here we have two power saving modes idle and power down mode that even i'll discuss in great detail in future coming videos right now just consider it is having two power saving modes that's why it is identical in embedded system here 8051 that is having 16 bits of address lines by which we can interface external memory like ram and rom so here you will be surprised like see we can interface 64 kb of rom as well as ram with same addresses why the reason is 8051 that is based on Harvard architecture so here control signals for rom and ram are different right and that has been generated by 8051 so you can use 64 kb of rom as well as ram on the same addressings right why the reason is Harvard architecture is used so control signals also different for ram and rom that's why on same address bus we can interface ram and rom with the size of 64 kb so here you'll be observing this 8051 is efficient in embedded system it saves the cost it saves the power it makes circuit compact as many features are available and we can have this on small scale applications that's why you'll be observing in many embedded applications we use this 8051 
So I think now you are having some fair enough idea about how many features are there and based on that how we can use that in many embedded system. And to explore this more you just go through my playlist of 8051 microcontroller in which I have explained each and everything in great detail so that you can program this 8051 as well as you can understand all the basics regarding this. I hope it is clear to you. Still if any confusion is there is a post in the comment box I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.